forget an intro. So originally I wanted to do regular regular box braids but ran out of time. So I slapped some ugly cornrows in the front of my head and I was not happy about it at all. Good morning y'all and happy Sunday. I realized that I have a couple of new followers. So hello and welcome. Um, guess what we about to do today. I plan to take out the front of my hair today, figure out exactly what I want to do to it because these very terrible cornrows were just a last minute decision because my hair done for work and I was running out of time. So I will be leaving the back of my hair as is in my individuals. We will just be redoing the front of my hair. So as y'all can see, I did leave the back of my hair untouched. I just had individuals, left them as is, took out the front of my hair. So yes, I'm working on dirty hair. Please remember me saying this. It will be very, very important later on in the video. Um, so I'm just parting and doing regular, regular individuals. I'm doing my underhand technique because honestly, I cannot do any other technique. I've tried. I actually cut it out of this video, but y'all, I can't do anything else. So I'm just doing my regular braiding technique i will link my original box break tutorial in the cards and in the description box below so you can see exactly how i do it but nothing new nothing special i'm just going to do individuals all on this side of my head and you'll see what i do on the other side in a second I am a very, very, very slow braider. It takes me a very long time to get the hang of things, especially with these nails, child. Y'all didn't tell me not to get these long old coffin nails. I'ma speed it up in a second, but I just want y'all to know the struggle is real, okay? So one of my favorite things about this style is the versatility of it because I can basically style my hair so that it looks like I just have individuals all throughout or I can wear it as a side part which you will be able to see in just a second. That's why I'm doing individuals all throughout the larger section of my hair in the front and then I'll just do a couple of cornrows on the side of my head but we love a good versatile style okay. Um, please brace yourself for the clips that are to come. Remember I said that I was styling on dirty hair. Well, I'm not sure why the heck my scalp was looking like this, but it was. Y'all, it was dandruff galore. I'm not sure if I just didn't rinse out the conditioner that I use well enough or if I'm just getting really, really, really dry, flaky scalp, but um, do y'all see what I'm seeing? Ridiculous, like ridiculous. It did go away with some oil and some products, so don't worry about that, but you know, moment of transparency, I had to let y'all know that I'm, I'm dry scalp, I'm team dry scalp. So if you wanna see some videos about me treating my dry scalp and talking more about it, let me know in the comment section below because I'd be more than happy to share with y'all, but yeah, mm. ciao, ciao. Did y'all know that there's a whole sector of YouTube dedicated to scratching out danger? Yeah, just, just fall down the rabbit hole. So I plopped three struggle cornrows on the left side of my head and now I'm going to finish those off by doing regular box braids at the end. So I wanted to make sure I show y'all this. I literally do it like I was installing a regular box braid which is the benefit of my method I think. I'm just taking the hair and I'm going to just divvy it up as normal.
So I braided all the way down to the ends and dipped the ends in boiling hot water off camera, but just wanted to show you the final result, or well, semi-final result. We finessed because we looked a hot mess at the beginning of this video and now we do not. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel because your girl hit 10K. Thank you, I can't believe it's 10,000 of us on this channel, it's wild. Make sure you're subscribing and also liking this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all in the next one.